Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time once again to circle the wagons because the Coon Prairie Rams are in the house and we going to do that. The <laughs> boys are back in town. You know, we did this once before. This is a re-recording. Take two. A, take two. Because the first one messed up with commercials playing. Yeah, we don't like commercials. Yeah. So anyway, we started out last time and we got to, we got to talk about my Katuk plant. Oh, by the way, we got KC and the Moonshine Gang here. Yeah, you got me thrown off my game again. Yeah. Oh, no. And we got Luke the Rebel without a clue. Uh, without a clue is right. And over in the other room, we got the last behind the glass, the Yeti. And and Mel, Mel brought in a mysterious bush today. Yeah. The Mailman. The amiable, affable type. It's called the Katuk plant. It's spell and it you so can, can it. Google it. It's uh, K-A-T-U-K. So go Google K-A-T-U-K plant. It's a tropical and it's the leaves are highly nutritious, and I've we've been eating on them. And Casey's going to take this. I, I was getting ready to take, eat some of the leaves off your katuk plant, but it looks like a no, weed. No, weed. Yeah. It won't hurt to eat more. More? Okay, I'm going to have one more. No, I mean, you really, Kate, I mean, the, the these cutting leaves have a like, nutty chase. You um, cut all the leaves um, off. That, that when do we man. do when we do cuttings, we always take all the leaves off anyhow. Yeah. Well, yeah. Casey's got a picture of uh, the mailman. Yeah. He's going to put on the the YouTube yeah. version of this. Have you ever used them and made katukis? I'm going to ask my wife because she's always hey if you can eat okra brownies they're going, they're going in brownies now you can That's do what I was just took cookies katukies katukies yeah oh looky there's a katuki <laughs> looky looky there's a katuki <laughs> they're also called star gooseberry and they're from the the plant is originally from Borneo where the wild man of Borneo That's, came that's from. south of the border ooh yeah jungle plant yeah. I think the Tasmanian devil maybe maybe ate some. Why don't you cook some of that up so you can make tea with it? Okay. Katuk Katuk yeah. tea. Katuk tea. Next time, next week, we will, I will have all the recipes you can do with Katuk. If that ain't killed you yet. I've seen both yeah. of y'all munching on it, but I'm not, I'm not going to partake. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna well, I haven't got a buzz live yet. Live to tell the tale. And I don't a, have any numbing of my lips. or so, and I don't you, feel like I'm going to break out in hives yeah. anytime soon. If yeah. I do, though, y'all... You have nine one one on, and it's dial. a nutty, nutty, a nutty taste. Wouldn't you say that, Casey? Oh yeah, yeah, it does. Like peanuts, it, it, there's a, yeah, sort of peanutty. And it's got a slightly sweetness to it. Yeah, slight. Mm. Not where I would think. Oh God, it's got a bunch of sugar. Not like an orange or something. Yeah. but it has a. It's not bitter. I just put it that way. Um, the very good. The leaves are very good. They're about the size of your thumb, if you got a big thumb, and you can use them in salads. And I prefer it with uh, honey mustard. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> if I was going to eat, have to have honey mustard on it. You could probably make you a Kaduk sandwich. Yeah. Oh, my golly, I'm going to do that. Oh, and these bushes, I mean, I, I think they turn into trees because I've seen a picture where it was as big as a house. I mean. Seriously. But it likes shade. It's, Bodacious uh, bush. It can, it can be froze out or froze back, uh, but it prefers sh- shade, you know, as opposed to, you know, full sun. So is it invasive? You know what this thing is. It, it's, Highly it's invasive. Growing, it's growing fast. And the pictures I've taken. It came from Borneo, so it ain't local. The picture I saw of it, I told my wife, I says, we're going to have to transplant this thing further away from the house once it gets going. It's going to take over. Yeah. And there's another plant that's sitting right next to it that was we've been we've been jumping on, you know, keeping it uh, cut back because it's taken over. It said um, cranberry. Mm. Cranberry trees? It's a cranberry. Yeah, cranberry. Uh, I thought cranberry grew in little short plants in a box. Different kind I of cranberry. Don't know. But it's a, it's a type of plant that's taken. It's got a cranberry color leaves. And it is taken. I mean, we, we're we out there every week trimming that thing. That Has this had crazy. any flowers on it? It, it gets a berry. It gets Has a, it had it? Well, if it's got a berry, it gets a flower before it gets a okay. berry. Okay. You need to get some Roundup. I'd take care of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For well, you, anyway. Well, that was your week. That was the uh, that was the the vegetation corner for the Coon Prairie Ramblers. All right, Casey, how about your week? Well, my son returned from mm. Ireland. Him and the lads. Now the he lads. came by himself, mm. but uh, he'd been over for Does quite do, a while. Can he do the jig? He the Irish had jig? some pictures of other people like street performers. Yeah, they have a lot of street performers. Over. Oh yeah, they had a lot of tourists over there. I guess anywhere where the people come from yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. Well, I mean, otherwise, why would they be performing if they didn't have a tourist to watch? Well, why did it have to be a tourist to watch them? 
Well, you think they're just just going to jump up? Hey, let's go do the jig out well, in the street in, in full full regalia. They're doing it for money, is all. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But anyhow, they he uh, was over building a golf course for the Ryder Cup, and he wow, pretty much finished. Ah, oh, let me splash one little old spice here. Sounds like another commercial. T- <laughs> he uh, telling you finished shaping all the courses and. Doesn't really need to be there now, but he may go oh, back. He may he's not. the course dresser. Designer? He is the... The hairdresser. Like he that. is the Michelangelo. Of so, the he, so he puts mm. the base there. I mean, he brings the big dirt in. He makes the big molding. He shapes it. He shapes it. Does he do the fine tuning afterwards? Shapes it. All the whole thing? Yeah. Mm. He shapes it. I mean, what you see... Is what he did. All you the way down the, to sticking the flag in the yeah. hole. Mm-hmm. When he does that, it's, it's done when you stick the flag in the hole. That's it. Hmm. But he enjoys the work. I mean, he loves to do that. They, all my sons love to work outdoors. They don't, they're don't. they not indoorsy people, so they like that. So he's the. So he is the designer for the golf no, courses? No, someone else designs oh, it. He shapes it. So he didn't do the he's whole He's the thing. artist. What does your other son do? Which one? The Oklahoma. Which other one? <laughs> he, uh, Curly Joe over in Oklahoma. He uh, is a uh, wastewater and sewer manager. Or he manages the waste. He is over the uh, over that. Yeah. Supervisor. But, or, they, and we're not sure. talking about outhouses. We're talking no, about the, the whole town. Like Arcadia oh, has the utilities. Yeah. It flows. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's, he's going with the, the flow. Utilities. He's over the yeah. utilities. So someday uh, Arcadia could hire him to come become the. I doubt it very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> they can't. They won't have enough money to hire him, or I just don't. Uh, I doubt very seriously if they pay him as much as oh, they okay. that. And oh. I don't think he'd want to. But you know, it's neither here nor there. Yeah, here nor there. Well, Luke, were we done with that golf course thing? I think so. Okay. What well, was the week that was? Anything happening last week? It goes by quick. I had the pleasure of listening to my friend KC speak to the Hysterical Society. And oh, yeah. You were there, too, Mailman. And he good. told us some uh, great stories and a lot Tall of tales. history about his family, uh, the founders of this area of southwest mm-hmm. Florida. And that was quite interesting, entertaining, and everybody there thoroughly loved it. It was a good program. And I enjoyed it. I really did. It. I, I was... Uh, apprehensive about it you know I'm, I'm used to getting up in certain um ways to speak right but that just was a whole new thing Venue, for me a yeah. ball game or and, yeah a whole new ball game hmm. that's good and uh i was very nervous about it but uh, as soon as i got there it just went it away it kicked in and you yeah. were you were natural it was like you yeah. were but, I, I, even with that. the mess up with the mics, it, it, it didn't it didn't it, throw you. Well, it threw me off a little bit, but not too bad. No, not at all. I think well, I do like having a mic in front of me. I think it helps mm-hmm. you. It does. And you even made a connection with somebody came up to you and said, "Hi, I'm so and so Carlton." As if I knew her. Well, so she was just doing that for fun. Then. I don't or know. Like she hadn't seen you for a long time, or mm-hmm. I don't remember that. Zona, uh, the Zona came Zona, up. And my to name me. is Zona Carlton, but. Uh, that's what she said. But I, I yeah. don't remember her saying that because I don't know who she is. What if her yeah. first, first name is Ara? Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> I don't want to be interested. I don't know. Well, shoot a monkey. We are down to 30 minutes. I mean 30 seconds for our first segment. So we're going to have to back on out of here, and we'll have to cough up something else. So y'all stand by for station identification, and we'll be back in just a few. <laughs> 